This was launched from Roswell, New Mexico in 1972 and is recovered on the White Sands Missile Range, about 100 miles to the west. I, I totally agree. If I saw something like that, I'm riding along out there near Rio del Sol and I'm wandering out in the desert and I see this funny looking dish out there, I might want to poke around at it. But quite frankly, this is probably what it was. Using the word probably, and you say case closed. Those two don't jive. Yeah, How do you right. reconcile Okay, that? let me say, from the Air Force perspective, that's exactly what it was. Sure, the Air Force and, and I don't mean to be rude about that. I want you to understand, we are very, very proud of this report. We think uh, in our office that this answers lots of questions, and it answers them logically and with integrity. Can you help us with when the dummies were first used? What year? 53. But over that period of time, dummies were dropped all around there. And I think it's logical to, to assume that the people there saw Air Force ambulances come out. They saw gurneys come out. They saw body bags come out because the dummies were put into body bags to protect them. They saw people in pith helmets. They saw people in shorts out there brushing the bushes looking for the remnants of the balloons. And when you put all that stuff together and spin it, you find that it fits perfectly with many of the, the occurrences in Roswell during that era. Also, so they also said that these figures were a much smaller statue than, than full-size adult figures. How do you reconcile that? I don't reconcile that. I just have no idea why they say that. How do you square uh, the UFO enthusiast saying that uh, they're talking about 1947, well, you're talking about dummies used in the uh, in the 50s, almost a decade later. Well, I'm afraid that's the problem that, that we have with time compression. I don't know what they saw in 47, but I'm quite sure it probably was Project Mogul. But I think if you find that people talk about things over a period of time, they begin to lose exactly when the date was. Now they're dredging it back up, adding, adding dummies and saying this is probably what everybody saw. Well, all I can say is the only real dummies in this whole thing is anyone who would believe this lame story. Why would the government want to cover this up? Well, it's real simple and straightforward. The military is in charge of this issue very firmly. And to the military mind, this represents advanced technology, which in turn represents potential weaponry. These people who are saying that nothing happened in New Mexico, it was just balloons and dummies, are the same folks that brought you the light at the end of the tunnel in Vietnam in 1968.